Blog Talk Radio. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I wait till my change come, praising him. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy is gonna come. Waiting for the day. I was at the point where I was 
ready to give up on everything I have been working on. And I just felt like, God, I can't take another lick. I can't take another failure. I can't take not no more. And when that song came to me, it really just touched my spirit in a way that I can never really put into words. And when she delivered her part in the movie, This Can't Be Love, it just it just brought so much to the movie. So, um, I, you know, as y'all know, I've been wanting to go back and just reach out to all the different actors and singers who have been a part of This Can't Be Love and just shine lights on them and what they're doing with, you know, what they did for the movie and also what they're doing now. And there's no way that I could have done this without including uh, Miss Reese because she was a very important part of um, uh, uh, of the movie, and not just of the movie, but she was a very important part for me, for my spirit, for my spirit man, because my spirit man had gotten weak, and I needed all the encouragement that I could get from everywhere I could get it from, and God knew exactly what I needed, and so um, he allowed her to cross my path through my sister, and it's just, I can't even put it into words. Miss Reese, are you on the line? I'm here. I'm here. Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I sure can. I just want you to know, I I know I I may have said it back then, but literally sitting here just listening to the music before, um, you know, before the show actually started, it just brought back memories to me, to my spirit of where I was when I first heard your your song, not just where I was physically, but where I was mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like I'm telling you, it. I was at a point where it was taking everything in me to get this project completed, everything, everything, oh my God, I was, my spirit was so beat down, I was so mm-hmm. tired, you know, not just because of the financial obligations, not just because of how long it took, but because of things I was going through personally in my own life. And so Mm -hmm. when I heard that song, it brought tears to me then, and I listen to it now, and it still brings the same tears. Not tears of sadness, but just tears of gratefulness, just the tears of knowing that he sent what I needed at the time that I needed it the most. You know what I'm saying? So Thank you, Lord. Yeah, so I I really... um, I don't want to turn this into no little boohoo thing, but I cannot help but express how I feel. And, you know, Thank just you. trusting God, you know. Where did you even, how did you even come up with that song? Like, where did that come from? Did you write those lyrics? Oh, like, tell us the no, story behind that song. I did, not, I did not write the song. It was written um, for um, my former pastor of mine, and the son wrote it. And when I heard it, I said, can I, can I? just sing this song. He says, it's yours. And as I began to sing it, it was like a struggle. The enemy knew, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait for this. You're going to have to wait for that. You're going to wait for that and that and that. And all those that's begin to start coming at me as an attack from the enemy. But God allowed me to praise him in the midst of waiting and I'm still waiting on some things, but God's word is true and his promises will come to pass. Yes. Amen. So Amen we, to that. Amen to that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Michael Dalco, he's the one that L Michael Dalco wrote that for his mom and then I, I remember. picked it up. Yes. I remember that yes. because I remember when I asked you, you know, when I heard the song and I asked you if you would be willing to allow that song to be in the movie and you was like, Let me ask the the writer, I remember mm-hmm. you talking about him. I remember him giving us yes. permission. And yes. I was like, it's not enough for me to just play the song in the movie. Like, I needed your presence. It, it was like right. your presence had to be there. Like, you had to sing it, you know? Yes. And to sing it live, it does something for me personally because it kind of reminds me. No, not kind of. It reminds me of where I'm at and the walk that I, the faith walk that I'm walking with the Lord and how he allows me to go through the struggles, go through the hardships, go through the pain, the disappointments, the tears, the back against the wall. But still he comes through because I continue to praise him through the midst, in the midst of all of the, the hardships. And when we do that, God will honor our praise because he dwells in the midst of praise. 
Yes. And I believe that. I like. I feel chills mm-hmm. over me right now. Like I believe that. I, I, just Amen. the lyrics alone. I'm gonna praise you while I wait. You know, it's mm-hmm. like saying that what I promised you. Him saying to you, to mm-hmm. me, to anybody who's listening right now, who's going through mm-hmm. trials and tribulations, and, and, and you you've had those visions and dreams and the prayers, but you haven't yet seen they haven't come to pass yet, and you've been going through all kinds of stuff, mm-hmm. and it seems like it ain't going to happen. You know, praising mm-hmm. him while you ra- wait helps to keep the enemy at bay is what it does. Mm-hmm. It helps to keep those yes, spirits, that negative energy away from you as you're going through the journey. You know what I'm saying? That's how I mm-hmm. feel. Right. Yes. And it continues to remind you of where you're at because a lot of times – we can be in situations, and someone had to remind me, do you believe the song that you're singing? you got to praise them while you're mm-hmm. waiting, while you're in the midst of your trials and tribulations. Why? Because we're all born of a woman, and we are going to have these trials and tribulations. We're going to have troubles. We're going to have all the things. But I just love the mere fact that while we're waiting, because we know that when we wait on the Lord, he's going to renew our strength. He's going to make us um, fly above every circumstances in the midst of all of it because we're waiting, but we're not waiting. We're not sitting with our twiddling our thumbs. We're not uh, um, complaining. We're not sitting by the waters and trying to throw in uh, Babylon uh, and trying to throw in the, um, our towel and say, forget this. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not doing that. I am giving up totally but we're praising the Lord, we're worshiping, we're serving, we're um, giving our best, the fruit of our lips, the clap of our hands while we're waiting on the miracles as God will bring them too. He will bring them. He will bring them. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. And I look, I, I, yes, yes. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that day when we uh, when you came to the church to do to do that um to do that scene, and I remember if you knew that I was up there because I, I think I think it might have been after you did the scene or before you did the scene, and the the pastor Pastor Thomas was just like you know they had they had basically um, given me a love offering. They had given me a love mm-hmm. offering that day, and it was like this mm-hmm. is to help you with what you need for the movie or whatever, whatever. And I remember I cried like a freaking baby because nobody understood, nobody really understood the journey mm-hmm. that I had been on over 10 years. I'm talking about still trying to film this movie while I'm homeless, still trying to film this movie while I'm in a uh, in an abusive relationship, still trying to film this movie while I'm going Jeez. through so many battles. Nobody will ever know the battles that I went through, but I was determined, oh. determined that God had given me this assignment and I was going to see it through to completion, not just because, oh, I want to be this big film star. It wasn't like that. It was like God had given me a sign because there are children now who are being abused. There are women who are still with abusers that they already know this joker to kill them at any moment, and they're not making that one call they need to. They know they need to make oh. to get them and their kids out of that situation. I knew that I had an assignment, but like anybody who has an assignment that has been given to them from God, you're going to go through the fire. The enemy is not going to just let you slide by if you got something that's going to help a person, a people, a nation, the, the masses. He's not going to just let you roll through without some type of something, some type of warfare, right. some type of, you know what I'm saying? And God knows. Right. <laughs> God knows. Oh, God knows. Well, you know, God that's knows. um you're to be commended through the trials that you went through uh, being abused. Many of us have been in an abusive relationship. We don't like to talk. We don't want to talk about it. It's nothing that you want to brag about. Um, it's uh, embarrassing. It's hurting. You, your self-esteem is down. It looks like you are going from pillar to post. And it looks like every man that comes into your life, it appears to be the same thing, the same uh, um, scenario. And then, um, but I love the scripture that talks about um, that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. That he will keep you. He will keep you in in the shelter of. Of, of the Most High when you need rest, when you need to find rest from the Almighty. And um, he'll do just that. It's unreal how the song goes on where he says, and, and I won't be afraid of the, of the, um, of the, the um, yeah. uh, 
Oh goodness, so the terror by night, night or nor the terror by night. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the terror by night, nor the um, the arrow that flies by day, and we get it so confused. Where you know we're trying to figure out what terror is coming at night, what and and the the, mm. the ones that fly in the daytime. We're talking about the hand of the enemy that will try to deceive you and and put you in such a uh, 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 a mindset of where you're not going to make it through, and it looks as if you are being trapped by birds or trapped by the hand of the enemy, but God will not allow it, the danger to come. He will secure you. He will protect you. He will keep you in the midst of all the things that you're going through. We don't see it at the time. We do not. We don't see it, but he will allow us to come through. And in the midst of it all, if you just hold on to a little piece of hope, like Paul, like Paul was on that ship and he and the ship crumbles and it goes from one trying to get from one part to the next part and he's holding on just to a little bit of wood. If we could just hold on to a little bit of wood, a little bit of hope knowing that God is going to bring us out. We don't see it. We don't feel it. It doesn't look good. It's ugly. But if we just recognize that God is still in control, he's still in control, he's still doing his thing, and he will not allow the enemy to take us out. <laughs> he won't even let oh, our homes. say it. He won't even let our homes be covered with uh, ugliness. He will not. He will shield us in the Buckner and everything that comes. He makes sure that we are rescued and we're in the most, most safe place, and that's in him. And, and, and we just stand still and praise him because he dwells in the midst of praise. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you. You better Lord. speak it. You just don't – before we even started this – I, I, I literally just pray and I ask God, you know, speak through us mm-hmm. tonight, you know, because right, right, it's all about God's perfect timing. Your time to be on was not accidental. It was ordained. This is the moment in time that you were supposed to be on. So for all those who listen now or who will come back to listen later, you're, you're mm-hmm. listening to this not by accident but by, right. by God's will because there might be something in your, not even might, there's something in your life that you need to praise mm-hmm. God while you're going through the fire. You need to praise God while you're working towards the promise. You need to praise God while you're going through the struggle, while you're trying, waiting for your child to get out of jail or while you're trying to figure out how you're going to get the rent money or the electric bill money or how you're going to come up with the car payment mm. money or how you're going to find a job before <laughs> rent is due again or how you're going to feed your children when you didn't use the rest of your money and you don't know where it's going to come from and everybody you're asking is saying no. Wow. This, this, you're, you're not here by accident. You're here because Hi. there's a testimony within this radio um, pro, pro, um, um, podcast that you need to hear, the stuff that you need to, to feed your inner man. So yes, I prayed before we started, so I already know that's the will. You know, amen. I, I, I'm yes, not, I'm yes. not a I'm not a crazy religious person, I, and I'm not gonna say I'm perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not gonna say right. none of that, but I none do have a relationship with God, and I do hear the Holy Spirit when He speaks to me about certain things. I I I know it. I know when He I know when it's His will, and I know that this is the time. It it, it was supposed to be right now. There was no yes. way you were well, gonna be on this. You were ordained to be here right now. Yes. Well, I appreciate you waiting even on me. We were supposed to be on, like you said, a couple of weeks ago, and it seems like we just I, I was missing some components and and I would um, I had it on my calendar, but it's just not it wasn't meant for that time. And that's why the it Lord orchestrates time. everything. Mm-hmm. He orchestrates everything, and I just appreciate you. And it's an honor to be here on tonight to even share my. Um, my gifts and and the um, gifts that he's given me in music. And I just appreciate the time that we did spend when you said um, uh, before the play, it was after 
it was after we did that scene, and I remember the pastor being a blessing to you. If I can recall, I think it was afterwards because we ended up doing the song, I want to say, a couple of times, or it just went through, and it seemed like a couple of times because we just kept on going. But I just thank God for you for reaching out to me because so many times God uses or has a door open, and we don't want to necessarily go in it, and we think, you know, one thing, but God knew. He knew that we would divinely connect at that time. And I know it's been a few years, and um, but I bless God for you, Patricia. I thank you. I thank you so very much for because you could have called anybody in. And even coming to the city of Atlanta, there were a lot of great people and a lot of people that your sister knows and is connected to. But I thank you for giving me the opportunity. And and I just want to remind the listeners that it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to him, even when we don't feel it. Because we don't walk by feelings. We walk by faith. We must mm. Show our loving kindness unto the Lord by faith. And if you ever get a hold of faith, mm, 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 you're pleasing the Lord. Mm. You're pleasing him in such a way that it's unreal. So it's important for us as believers not to be so consumed by what we see. We're dealing with something right now in this country, and I promise you, I told somebody, I walk by faith, and I really believe that things are going to turn around, not knowing, mm-hmm. hallelujah, you know, we speak and say things, and we don't realize when we begin to speak that thing out, sometimes the enemy will grab a hold of it and make you look crazy and try to turn and twist everything around. But the Lord hears that he knows our heart, and since he knows our heart and we're giving him praise, in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of what we're going through, he says, look at my child. They're still praising me. They're still giving me some mm. honor. They're still worshiping mm. me. They're still calling on my name. Tears falling down their face. Homeless. Don't know where they're going. Don't know which, where they're going to next feed their, how they're going to feed their children. Don't know where the next meal is coming from. Don't know how they're going to pay their rent or get the mortgage paid. But still they're praising me. Oh, my Mm. goodness. He has to come through. He's a man of his Mm. word that shall not lie, and he will not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will not, and he's going to come through for you. He will not lie. He's going to come through for you because he's concerned, hallelujah, about your problems. He's concerned about you Mm. as an individual. Amen. I just had to share that. Amen on that. Thank you so much. Ooh, Amen. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. So I, as I look at your um, your bio, because I'm actually on your website, and for anyone who, okay. like I said, if you're listening now or listen later, her website address is www.laboria, spell L-A-B-O-R-I-A, Reese, R-E-E-S-E, com. Very beautiful website. And so I'm looking Thank at you. your bio, and you have been all over the world. I'm seeing Italy. Switzerland, Germany, Australia, Hungary. Yes. I'm like, you've been everywhere. Yes. I have been wow. a few places, yes. And I, I say that modestly because I I would go and um, enjoy myself. I would go and sing the praises of God while I was over there for so many years. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But about six years ago, I decided I've had enough. I've had enough mm. because I would come back to the States mm-hmm. and I would be very sick. I would get sick and I did not understand mm. my respiratory. And, because we, you get there and you're moving. You're literally moving. Mm-hmm. But um, last year, they summoned for me and they said, we're bringing you to Italy. And I was preparing mm. to go and um, got my group together again. And I said, we're going to Italy. And lo and behold, at the last minute, we could not go. And I didn't understand that at all. I was mesmerized Mm. behind it. I said, wait Mm -hmm. a minute, that don't sound right. It hit me like a ton of bricks February of this year. Why we did not Mm. go? Because of the corona. Because their, their, their countries are very close. It's not like our countries and our states are spread out. 
they're very close in proximity. And so you're going from one place to the next, and um, there are a lot of things that they don't do that we would always say when we would go and tour and say, man, they only ever wash their hands, man. But God revealed it so plainly to me in February because of the corona. I would have perhaps gotten stuck over there or maybe could not have ever come back. Because, and you know, many times we summon the Lord and say, Lord, I want this. I got to have that. And it's not time. It's not time for it. And the Lord wants to trust you. He wants to know if you can, if he can trust you while you're trusting him and praising him, serving him Mm -hmm. and doing his Mm -hmm. will. But we get so consumed. I got to go. Oh, we got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. Mm -hmm. But know that Mm -hmm. everything comes in time. Everything is Mm -hmm. timing. And that's so important. So I'm just grateful to God that I did not go. Mm -hmm. And I, I count it as a blessing. I count it as a blessing. Yes, and you, especially when you were sick the other times, whenever you would come back, you were sick. Imagine how sick you would have been this time if you had gone. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. From the air yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, eight and ten hour flights and sometimes longer or going from one city to the next. It took up a lot of germs and everything, but I'm grateful. I've had a I've had a wonderful time going, singing the the praises of the Lord um, in those various countries. And I promise you, there's going to be a day where I'll be able to go back. But not, I'm not rushing it. I'm not rushing it when the Lord says, and he opens up the the, the um, airways and opens the, the way for me to go, then I'll go again. Um, but I'm grateful that I've had that experience uh, to tour in those various countries. Eleven to be exact, I want to say. Yes, yes, yes. And you, so the um, the um, you were definitely. Well, let me say first, uh, congratulations on getting your bachelor's degree. I see you just did that in two thousand sixteen, so that ain't been that long ago. Yeah, um, no, congratulations on that. That's yeah. why. I, yeah, praise God. That that's awesome. Thank so you. I, what was Thank the name you. of my sister's play that you played in? What was the name of that play? Um. I I'm trying don't to think recall. what was that. I, I can't remember what the name of that play was. But it was in the movie, yeah. too, because she allowed me to take snippets of it in the movie, and you sung there, too. So you were in the movie. I don't know. Did you ever get a chance to look at it from beginning to end? I have, but, I have, but not the complete movie. Oh, I, wow. I, you got to look I, at I, it. <laughs> I must not have the right link. Um, send it to me, please, because you know? I will take the time. I send it to me, and I will definitely look at it. Definitely look. I saw yes. the beginning. Oh man, I didn't know you didn't have it. Yeah. Let Let me tell you how how magnificent. So yeah, because you wasn't able to come to the premiere, so you might not have uh, um, known. But there. So yeah. I, I, you know, it took all them years to do it. Like I said, um, when mm-hmm. I was in Chicago. Um, I was living there, whatever. We were living on the west side of Chicago. Things started getting really uh, bad um, as far as the violence. It started getting really dangerous. People was, you know, really just starting to um, be killed all around us. And so mm. I knew God had put in my spirit that it was time to leave. And people don't, people may not know this, but I remember when I was there, like right before I made the decision to to, to move back because I was leery about coming back to Atlanta because I've gone through my, my battles with homelessness and all that kind of craziness in Atlanta. So I wasn't, you know, all thrilled to go back, but I knew I had not completed the assignment because I had not had that premiere. And that was some a promise that I had made to the actors that I would do. So when I was in mm-hmm. Chicago, I actually was doing very well, but the violence started. So probably about maybe, I want to say about maybe six months before I made the decision to come back to Atlanta. Um, I, I used to smoke uh, cigarettes, right, and I would buy them from a guy that, well, not you know, a guy that lived, like, in the apartments behind us. And so I'll never remember mm-hmm. forget, um, I, I, I was going, I before, um, well, let me say, I remember seeing this man, this is, and this, I don't hope this don't scare nobody, but I, re, I I remember one day seeing this man. The man was dressed in all black, and he was whistling, and he walked past 
that house. And the, and my spirit man said, that's the spirit of death. And when I seen him, it kind of scared me because he was literally, he had a hat, black hat on, and he had on a black coat. Everything was black, and he was whistling. When he, when he walked past that man's apartment, I seen him. So maybe two months later, I was getting prepared to go to that guy's house because I would always go, like I said, at about the same time every day, I would always go and get my little cigarettes or whatever from him instead of buying a pack. That's what, you know. And mm-hmm. that morning, I got ready to go, and I was putting on my shoes, and the phone rang. I picked up the phone, and it was something about student loan, this, that, and the other. And usually I don't be list- I don't take time to listen to it. I'm just like, okay, you know. But for some reason, this lady, the way she was talking to me made me stop in my tracks, sit down, and talk to her, right, which is something I normally would not have done with just somebody who called me out the blue, especially about those student loan, you know, remodification, modification, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh-huh. I'm probably about 15 minutes was on the phone. I, when I hung up the phone, I heard sirens. But I wasn't really thinking about it because in Chicago, you hear sirens all the time. So I finished on my journey to go to the man's house to get the cigarettes, which is what I was about to do when the phone rang. When I get out there, there's a man that is dead right there on the freaking corner that in that exact path where I saw that man all in black walk by that man's house. And the crazy thing is oh. that the man that died, that was, that was his family member. And so oh. after that, it was like all... Chicago just went mad crazy. Like, it was just like people was popping up dead. I think it was like a retaliation thing for that man's death. And the guy just let me know it's time to leave. And so at that point, I had a, I had a store right on um, Madison. I had everything. I was, work, I, I was doing good. But God said it's time to leave. And so I ended up coming back to Atlanta. And now, in hindsight, I look back and I say, praise God, because – Who's to say what would have happened if I had not been obedient? You know, a lot of things right. is about obedience. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. And and I'm not saying I'm always obedient because God knows I'm not. But for that particular time in my life, I am so glad that I was obedient because the, a lot of the kids that my son was hanging around during that time got killed since we've been gone. You know, the partner that I was mm. working with has recently just got killed on the, in that same area. Like it was got, and, and I think, 2016 was like one of the most violent years, violent years mm-hmm. in Chicago in a while, in on that side of town. So I, 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 I definitely am glad that I persevered and I was obedient and I came back to Atlanta. And even though it was a challenge and all that kind of stuff, I was able to have that premiere and I was it was just like a long, you just don't know how long this journey been. Oh, my gosh. I know. <laughs> I've been, no. I'm there. <laughs> I know. I do. I can only imagine. Yes, yes, yes. I, I felt but like the know enemy's what? plan was to take me out before I finished this because I had so many mm-hmm. near-death experiences even after that. I felt like it was the enemy's plan to take me out, but it didn't happen. And I was able to release this in January. And so as of right now, and I'm actually going to put it in your mailbox, as of right now, from when I released it on on Facebook in January, it has um, mm-hmm. 16,000 views and, like, 200 places awesome. likes. And people are commenting, and they're being touched by it. So that's Thank awesome. You, Lord. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yes. They're being touched by it. That is awesome. See, the Lord knew you had that thing that he had begun in you is a good work, and he was going to finish it. He's going to finish the work in all of us until the day of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You cannot throw in the towel. You cannot stop. It might be tedious. It might be uh, um, years down the road. But knowing this confidence, you have that confidence in the Lord, he's going to bring it to pass. Yes, he does just that. Does just that. He must have seen something mm-hmm. in, my, in me that I didn't see in myself. I'm going to promise you that. <laughs> Yes, he I always does. Have, uh, yes, he yeah. always does. Mm-hmm. That's the Lord. That's the God that we serve, and that's so important. Amen. Amen. So Hallelujah. that play that she was in of my sisters, I, I want to. Mm-hmm. I cannot remember what the name of that. Her, uh, and her name is. And for all those who don't know who my sister is, her name is Angela E. Stevenson. And so yes. she's done a lot of different plays, and I'm just trying to remember. Yes. What that one was. I've been in a I couple of plays for her, and I cannot tell you the name of it, um, but I know it was on the west side of town at the Victor Theater 
across from Six Flags, and um, I want to say that. Uh, yeah, in in Cobb County, wasn't it? That's in Cobb County. In Cobb it County, was the, yes, past yeah. Bishop Bonner's um, place. It's a very unique building right there off of Twenty, um, near the Six yep, Flags yep, yep. area. Uh, yeah. It's been a minute. She always it's been had a minute, so you know. <laughs> she always had big, um, big crowds too. But I remember that that if yeah. I remember correctly, the play was about um, a family who they found out that one of the family members was gay or something like that. It was something, right? Or, or a, a, in it the was church. something. I cannot remember. Uh huh. Huh? Yes, and that person, that whole family was in the church. They were all um, in the church. And I cannot remember the call. I hope she's on this call. I hope she can text me or you the name of that play because that yes, was like important. <laughs> I just can't remember. Lord have mercy. Uh, I, and I, I remember it. It was a, it was a few more months. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm 51, and I can't remember. I'm good to remember my name. So. <laughs> but I remember that you, even then your voice captured me. It was so captivating. It was so strong. It was so, you know, just beautiful. Like your your song, your, 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 the way you sing is just beautiful. And I remember when we were about to do your scene, he was like, well, how do you want me to do it? You want me to, you want me to do it to the beat? And I'm just like, uh, uh-uh, I just want to sing, sing it how you want to sing it. I, rem- I, I feel like I okay. remember saying that yes. to you, like, sing yes. it the way you want to sing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. And I, and I thank you for that, for giving me free will to um allow the Lord to have his way because he did. And that I don't call it a scene. It, it was a scene, but it was church. We yes. had church, and the sure pastor, was. Pastor Thomas, did come up, and she began to prophesy afterwards. It was phenomenal. I didn't feel like I was yeah. pressured, or like the lights were on mm-hmm. me. We just went in and for the gusto, and just had straight up church. And um, that's what it was. People, mm-hmm. Yes, that's what it was. And I and I appreciate you allowing me to. Um, let the Lord use me in that in that season in that season. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh yeah, and, and your Hallelujah. and the your scenes are powerful. So it's just like it, it was ordained, like that. It was it was supposed to be like that. That's the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know how to wow. say that's how it was supposed to be, but that's a, I don't know. So are you originally from Atlanta? I am from Seattle. I was born in Seattle, Washington. And uh, my father was led of the Lord in the late 60s to come south. And he and my mom are from Alabama. So they came to Alabama first, and then the Lord led him to Atlanta. Um, So Atlanta has been home basically for me. I've moved a couple of times um, here and there, but always back at home. So I'm grateful. So I call it home now, yes. I'm a Georgia Peach, <laughs> but I root for the how, Seattle Seahawks. So how Seahawks. old were you? you how, <laughs> seven years old. How old were you? When you were, oh, wow. Okay. Seven okay, years yeah. old. Yes, but I can mm-hmm. recall. I remember so well um, coming south. I remember we went through all the cities in the states, um, coming through Denver. and um, Then we ended up in Texas, I think, and came all across through Oklahoma and to get to Alabama. We traveled a lot at that time because we um, would go back and forth to uh, Seattle, and that's not easy to do in a car with four little children, my mom and dad. No, it was not. <laughs> yes, yes. And so, mm-hmm. and, and I'm looking, oh, my, when I look at your, good grief, your, um, what, how do they pronounce it, disgust, Dis- Discography. Discography. How do they pronounce it? Yes. Um, um, oh, Discography. Yeah, so Discography. Yeah, right. All the songs and the places I've pleased people, places I've, songs that I have recorded. <laughs> yes. I want to call it Discography, um, but I know they don't pronounce it. No, it's not. It's not. But That's it's not long. It, but yeah, Discography. It is. And and my I'm tongue just grateful. won't let me get that other part out. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, because I'm oh, looking yeah. at all this stuff that you've done, um, man, you, um, with Manifest Music, with Alliance Love Entertainment, 
um, yes. just all, your European tour. You know what I'm saying? Just, yes. just I'm just, mm-hmm. just. I'm just looking at all this stuff you've done over your career, and I'm just like, wow, and, and, mm-hmm. and, and amazed, mm-hmm. definitely amazed. Thank you, yes. Um, Started out in, in, in early, when I was 20 or 21, I think, um, with Bethesda Temple. That's my dad's church he founded. Um, mm-hmm. With God Can, my sister-in-law, who did the lead on that, Wanda Reese, and um, moved from there. I just did a lot of work here and there. And there, yes, so I've been well established, well, had my foot well grounded in the, in um, the gospel field, and uh, I've been some places and been around a, a lot of artists. Um, it's really um, an honor in some places, you know, to be with some artists, and um, I'm grateful unto God for what he's done, yes. Yes, yes. I, I I appreciate you for putting the movie on your uh, website too. I see that you um, stated yes. you was in the movie. This can be love around the world means production. That yes. made me feel so good. <laughs> yes, and then yes, it just so yes, good. Yes. yes, yes. First movie. So you have I've another song in. that you sent me. Oh, for real? Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. First movie I've ever been in, and I just received that um, the Lord will open more doors for me. But um, yes, another song that I sent you is moving forward. Um, about nine years ago, the Lord gave me that song, probably longer than that. And um, my my um, niece, Karma, we call her Good Karma, Reese, she put the music to that. And um, we released that about five years ago, almost six years ago. And so um, moving forward came at a time where I was devastated and I was really going through some hardships and um, as the second verse goes to say, su- had suicide on the brain, but God came mm-hmm. with a latter rain. Depression weighed me down, but now I'm moving to higher ground. The enemy thought I could mm-hmm. not see the plan God had for me. And so now I'm moving, moving forward. Because the enemy is such a trickery. You know, I had gone through some things um, some years back, and I thought, I'll just go ahead and kill myself. Thought it. Never went mm. through with it. You know? you know how the enemy will play tricks with your mind. Thought about it, and I promise you, it was a thought. And I said, if I did that, all they're going to say is she could really sing. She could really preach. She had a good heart. She did this. She could create that. She could build your flowers. She could do this. And they're going to have chicken, some fried chicken, some green <laughs> beans, some rice, and some iced tea at a repast. And the next day, they ain't going to even know who you are. I said, the mm-hmm. devil is a lie. And I began mm-hmm. to shake that thing. And I got myself together. And I said, I'm moving forward. Mm. I'm not going to be stuck. I'm not going to go backwards. I'm moving forward. And so um, that song was basically for young people. So it has a different sound to it. When Karma would put Mm -hmm. something together for me, she would put my music together. I was like, Lord, have mercy. Now she knows I can't do that. But um, it does have a different sound. I want to redo that and I want to promote that. Um, put that on a different platform. I need to put it with a little rap, a little gospel rap in between there because I recognize that young people need to be saved. And if it's going to be a vehicle to draw the young people, I want to do just that. Although I'm a traditional singer and I and I still say I will keep on singing traditional style songs and worship songs and and praise songs but at the same time we have to draw our uh, generation Y, X, Z into the whole uh, the household of faith yes yes, yes. Well, let's yes. play it because yes. I, I can't wait I don't think yes. I didn't play it before you came on so this will actually be my first mm-hmm. time hearing it so let's play it uh, okay. we'll be right back y'all on Move On Script to an interview with uh, gospel artist Lavoria Reese, and we're about to play Moving Forward. Forward. Yes.
I've been a misfit. I've been rejected. With Christ, He will accept me. No, it's not an easy street. I thank God He keeps me. When I wanted to run away, God said, Come on to me and stay. I'm moving forward. Yeah, I gotta keep on pressing. I've learned my lesson. Moving on my way. You see, I'm moving forward. I gotta keep on pressing. I have learned my lesson. Oh, yeah. Mm. I had suicide on the brain. But God came with the ladder rain to press on the way to down. Now I'm moving to higher ground. My past was hurting me. The healing is all I could not see. God's plan he had for me. I got told the victory. I'm moving. The devil can't stop me. And you can't block me. No weapon formed against me. another episode of On the Move Unscripted, and that was Moving Forward, very powerful by LaVoria Reese. Absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Moving forward. You you know what? Let me tell you something, and and I'm learning this every day, and and I try to, and and I have to keep reminding myself of this. When you're feeling Uh depressed, that means you're looking backwards. You're looking back at past pains, past hurts past failures. Mm-hmm. You're stuck in the mm-hmm. past. You know what I'm saying? When you're feeling anxious mm-hmm. and nervous and worried then you're looking forward to get to tomorrow and to things that are not even promised to you yet. The time that you feel the mm-hmm. most peace is when you have decided that you're going to live in the present and today, in the right now and praise God uh, in the middle of where you are today. Not worrying about what happened yesterday and not worrying about what's yeah. going to happen tomorrow but Trusting God for today. That is when you are the most at peace. If you're living in any yes. other atmosphere other than that, then, then that's when the issues come, you know? Yes, you're correct. That's right. That is so true. And I just thank God that um, when my niece came to me and she said, we're going to put this music together, and I listened, I said, baby, are you sure? And I mm-hmm. love it. I do. I do. So that's why I said I've got yeah, to go back and promote it and get it out there. Even if I have to go back in the studio and redo my vocals, because like I said, time has changed. A lot of things have changed. And even right now in my now situation, I can tell you that I will not look back. I must move forward. We cannot afford to look back um, on the things, like you said, because when you look backwards, you're looking towards that I can't trust God. I, I, I've got to stay back there. I want to hold on to that hurt. I want to hold on to that pain. Move forward. God will allow you to move forward. Like I said in the song, no weapon formed against me. God will continuously mm-hmm. give you hope in the midst of you pushing and moving forward. Yes, yes, yes. So oh, I would yes. like to um, hook you up with some different um 
entities and people that we are affiliated with that can assist you with promoting it. So this is, this is the thing that I tell all the different artists that I work with. Did you know I work with a lot of different artists, yes. rappers, all that kind yes, of stuff? Yes. And I always tell them, if your music video, if your song, if your music that you have on YouTube or wherever, if it doesn't have 5 million, 3 million, 2 million, or even a million views, uh, 800,000, Ain't nobody really heard it. Ain't nobody nobody knows about it. And so because nobody you have a gospel that. song that still touches your spirit, it it really don't get old. It, it, not really. Uh-huh. To me, it sounds like something that you could be pushing right now, and nobody would know that you, you might have done it, you know, some years ago because it's still powerful, because it's still relevant. You got people mm-hmm. right now in the middle of corona, this whole coronavirus stuff and who've been thinking about suicide, who've been on the verge yes. of suicide, who have thought, mm-hmm. and, and anybody who, who was talking about depression or they've been feeling depressed, suicidal thoughts have probably slid through their brain here and there. In fact, they said that 2020 has been one of the highest years for suicide. So your song is really a right now song. I don't care when you recorded you, it. I don't care when you released yes. it. It's a right now Thank song. You. Thank you. Thank you for for reminding me of that. Thank you so very much, and I'm sure my niece will be glad of that. But that would be a great, um, a great, great. Uh, I'll be appreciative very, very much. So yes, yeah. Thank I'll, you. I'll, thank you. Thank I'll you. make sure that we reach out to you and and see you know how we can help you push this song because there's a lot of people right now. People lost loved ones that they didn't even get to see buried. People lost businesses right. that have been working on since they were kids. People lost a mm. lot of people are being evicted right now. You know what I'm saying? The, the shelters mm-hmm. are overflowing, not enough beds. People are going through. They are going through. Yes, so music you, that you got right now, praising God while I wait, you know what I'm saying, moving forward. Mm-hmm. These are songs that people need now because they need to grasp onto these things so that they can remember that what they're going through is temporary. This is a temporary time in your life. This is You're going through this right now, but this will not last always. Yeah, this Lord. life will lead yes, you Lord. into the fire. God said he would, they would not be burned. So you're going to come out of this and not. you're going to be victorious. But if you give up, if you quit, if you commit suicide, if you do things that harm yourself, then you'll never find out mm-hmm. what would have happened once you walk through the fire. Because he promised you, you're going to get through it. You gonna get through it. Yes. I have to remind myself That's of it. that when I go through hard times. You gonna get through it. You may not be where mm-hmm. you feel like you were supposed to be at this point in your life, but you're. But God made you a promise. And because he made you a yes. promise, that's why he allowed you to sing about that promise. And so you and I and anybody else, we got to hold on to that promise because a shift is coming in our lives. God has made ah, it, glory. and he is not Thank a you. man that he should lie. He's not going to tell you something. Mm-hmm. He's not going to give you the vision to see something. He's not going to put something in your spirit and not bring it to pass. Now, mm-hmm. it might not be on your time because we as mm-hmm. humans, we look at the clock and we say, 10, 11, 12, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm-hmm, well, we look mm-hmm. at the calendar and we say January, February, March, April, May, or we think of the year, so we say, you know, 2015, 2016. But God don't look, measure time like that. That's, not, that's all Thank that's man's teacher. way. That's not God's that's way. Man. So when God says it's time, yes. it's time. I don't give a freak how long it's been. Yes, and he can redeem the time. He can speed up the whole process where we're thinking, Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. He can redeem the time, even with moving forward, where we can, um, we've been saying, oh, my goodness, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. I've had so many people to say, we're going to do this for you. We're going to present this. We're bringing this to the table, and it doesn't come to pass. But God will do it so where man can't say that I did this for them. God will get the glory out of what he does, and I can appreciate that timing is so important. So thank you. Thank you for um, thank you for enjoying moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we oh, will, yeah, we will song. be glad to thank the Lord. Thank goodness. Thank you. Yeah, that's a beautiful that. song. I'm telling you, when people yes. watch the movie, This Can't Be Loved, there is absolutely no way that you cannot be moved when you hear LaVoy Reese sing. It's like you can feel the God in her. You know what I'm saying? And like she said, that whole church thing, that was not acting. Even though we went there to act and we went there to do roles, the pastor let me know from the gate, listen here, God said, take your eyes off of what you think this that's supposed to be and let things flow naturally. Let yes, God control yes. it. She told me that. She was mm. just like, uh-uh, because I was mm. worried about this thing. And that's like, stop worrying. 
and trust God. Mm-hmm. Let's enjoy the service. Stop worrying about the movie mm-hmm. and enjoy the service. That's what he, he sure did put <laughs> in my place about that, but he really did. And that was a and it was awesome. part of the movie. Oh yeah, you yes, gotta see it. it oh yeah, you gotta see it. Yes, I thank you. you. I got yeah, it in my um, inbox. Thank you so very yeah. much, and I will view that movie and share it with others, and um, go from there. I thank you. I thank you so much. Yes. The, the, the thing is, the enemy has been at work against this project for a long time, and not just in me and 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 my trials and tribulations with getting it out there, but also with the actors and with people who were involved, you know, making mm-hmm. them feel like, oh, this ain't nothing or this ain't the other. But you don't know God's purpose and reason for allowing anything to come to pass. And so right. I think a lot of people, their spirits were low because they may have had expectations that have not come to pass or didn't come to pass the way they thought. But I released mm-hmm. control over this movie a long time ago. And I asked God to Thank guide you. myself. Let me know what your will is. Because if I have mm-hmm. my will, I'll be the I would have been, if it was my will, it would have been completed. I'm tell, I promise you, I'd have stopped five years in. That's amazing. Years in, it would have been a wrap. Oh, wow. in Chicago, and it was not even halfway finished. It would have been a wrap mm-hmm. then, but God did not allow me to quit. It wasn't because it wasn't wow. me. It wasn't my strength. Believe that. That was God's will. Mm-hmm. Whatever, when it was time, every time it was time for me to have to to, to film, some of the things I had to do was expensive, like filming inside the hotel and all that food and everything I had to pay for and the teacher and flying in from Chicago. That was expensive, but God made sure I had the money to do it with. Because there's no Thank way you, at the time Lord. when I was in Atlanta that I would have been able to do that thing that was necessary with the income that I had mm-hmm. at that time. It was it was like it was all orchestrated. So I believe we don't know what God plans on doing with this, but God told me give give it when I when I finally completed it, and I and I cried out to God because of the time and the sacrifices, and I cried. God knows I was sitting right in Angela's home, and I cried. I I, I cried because I thought about all the things I had gone through in the I ten know. years. I cried. When I say I cried. Oh my God! You would have thought that somebody died. That I cried, and I just the spirit came to me, and God said, "Give it to me." You've done all that you mm. can do. You mm-hmm. you take it as far as you can take it. You you've done right. you, you've done your part. You've done you 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 completed your part assignment. Now give it to me, and that's what I did. I released it. And I said, I, I don't care oh, what nobody thinks about me. I don't know if I did the right way or what, but I, I released it because I had to mm-hmm. for my own health because I was going through right. depression. I was getting depressed. I was getting sad. I was Jesus. starting to doubt myself. I was going, God, no, God only no. Sometimes it hurts me when I listen mm-hmm. to my son Isaiah and he, and he raps because he raps about what we went through in them seasons. And it hurts me because my I know mind. What he's rapping about was really true. It was like we went through a lot. And imagine I had mm. small children at the time. So whatever the mother is going through, whatever a single mother is mm-hmm. going through, whatever child she's going through, right. she is going yes. through too. Yes. So we were all yes. in this storm together. And, mm. and it, wow. I cried. God knows. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Well, bless God that He gave you enough strength, enough unction to go forth and present this play, I mean, this movie, and do it in such a way that um, it releases you and allows you to move on to the next project that he has for you, because I'm sure there's more plays, I mean, more movies in you. I keep saying plays because that's what your sister does, and movies in you. So it's important for us to not give up and to hold on to hope. Hold on to what God has given you. It seems as if promises, because I know the Lord, if he promised it, it's going to come to pass. And I know for a fact, because the Lord has promised me some things years ago. And sometimes we're our own blockage. We're our own, you know, we are own hold up because we're our worst enemy at times. And when we stop and realize God is going to deliver on his word he is a man that will not lie and he will not lie so he's going to come through but we got to do our part 
and not hold up our own blessings. So when you get mm. when you get to the point where you said, I'm tired, I'm tired, and I give it to you, none, Lord. I give it to you. And that's all he wants us to yield to him, give everything to him. He cares so much for us that he wants us to take our hands off of it. <laughs> take your hands off of it, take your mouth off of it, and let him do what he's going to do. And when he does what he's doing, what he does, oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You ain't got to worry about uh, what the naysayers. They can keep on coming and keep on saying, but at the end of the day, he's got you. And when he has you, he's got you. Hallelujah. And yeah. it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So, yeah. yes, be encouraged, people. Be encouraged, Patricia. Be yeah. encouraged. But God has you. He has you. And as long as you give it over to him, yield it to him totally. Hallelujah. Because he cares. The Bible tells us he cares for us. You give every burden, all the anxiety, every pain, every headache. I said it earlier. Every depression, every anxiety, every tear. Give it to him. Give it to him. And let yes. him handle it. He does so much better yeah, than he can. Whew, you better say it. He can you handle it. Say it. He can, he Ooh, can handle need, it so I, much I, better. I needed this today. I needed this today. Thank you, I, Jesus. I mean, I, I, like I said, I released it. I, I, I did. I had to. I released it. I literally just had, to, I had to give it to God. And so it, 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 it puts joy in my heart when I, you know, when I, Look at to see the numbers rising. People, sixteen thousand people. You don't know how many of those sixteen thousand people were at a place where they had lost their faith. You don't know how many of those sixteen thousand mm. people knew of a child that have, was being abused, and because they saw that movie, they called to the services, or they went and got that child from that person's home, or they did something. You don't know how many mm-hmm. of those sixteen thousand people were at the end of their rope. Their faith was at the bottom of the barrel, and that movie helped put just a little bit more. I gave him a little bit more um, I gave him a little bit more, maybe I can. You don't yeah. know how many people movie out of sixteen thousand people, you don't know how many of those people that that was a, that have been blessed by it. And so that's what I look Thank at. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, I bless God for the opportunity and I thank you. I really do. Thank the Lord. Amen. I do. Amen. I Amen. So, what's your social media uh, site? Like, how can I get in touch with you? If, you? if if there's anybody who has any movies that's out there, or anybody that's in Atlanta that you're looking for, you know, someone to come and sing at your church or at your function, uh, and you're looking for um, a, a powerful singer, how would they get in touch with you? Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And on um, Facebook, I'm L Z E E Reese, and um, Manifest Music Global, and on my first name and last name on Instagram and Twitter. Yes, 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 yes. And then tell them your your website again. Your website. My website uh, is w www.lavoriareese, and that's spelled L-A-Z is in victory, O-R-I-A, Reese, double E-S-E-R, com. Amen. And they can just Any Google shout-outs that you want to give? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I do. I want to give a shout-out to my niece. I believe she's listening to Karma. We call her Good Karma. Reese, she's responsible okay. for the music on, on, on moving on moving forward. Yes, and hopefully, um, Greg is listening. He's a, a dear friend and a producer. Um, some other songs that are coming out soon. One is going to be, I believe, it's a sister in you. I'm getting ready to um, do a ministry with ladies and sisters and um, undergird these ladies to give them an opportunity to realize that they have um, confidence, should have confidence in themselves growing up, um, you know, as a PK, uh, there comes a point in your life when you don't have that, uh, what do you call it, uh, 
that self-esteem and your your self-esteem is low and you feel like you can't make it and everybody else is believing in you, you don't believe in yourself. So I want to undergird a lot of women who are on, and girls and girls um, who are in predicaments who have gone through some of the same things that I've gone through, how to conduct yourself in in uh, the public and a lot of things just to really, really groom and to mentor a lot of women and girls so we can move forward in the Lord. Yes. So I thank Karma. I thank Greg and um, that sister. That's why I started this, Greg, the sister in you. And that's going to be a phenomenal song that will come out soon. Yes, yes, yes. And to all the others, I don't Tyler know who Pierce else is listening. I don't know what the heck is going on. You, you, I don't know how that, how you, how he missed you. I don't get it. I'm glad I got you, but I don't know how he missed having you sing well, in his a, place. Well, it's a lot about know. timing. It's about timing and um, being in the right and um, mm-hmm. and sometimes you know I've 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 done a play with a movie with Tyler Perry, but we were just singing. Um, in the choir scene at the end. It's the one that they did. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it's an older movie. He did it when he first started doing movies. And uh, we just did the very final song. And um, But, no, I just haven't, I haven't pursued it. I haven't pursued it. That's a, and that's, that's important. You have to want to pursue it and go forth and know how to go about and do it in the right way. Yes, yes. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's true. You do have to yes. pursue. Um, nothing comes without the work, you know. Yeah. Yes, you, you got have to work. Mm-hmm. You have to put the work faith in. So faith. for anybody who... I'm sorry, what did you say? I said faith without faith is... I mean, faith without works is dead. Right. Faith without yeah, works is definitely. dead. So you got to have the faith, but you got to yeah. work it. <laughs> you got to do it, right? You got to work it. For anyone who you would like to look at the movie This Came to Love, you can actually go to um, YouTube um, and you can put in This Can't Be Love and you can put in my name, Patricia Going, and it'll pop up. Or you can go straight to okay. my YouTube channel, which is M S Goings, G O I N S, 1119, 1119, and you'll be able to see um, my movies and I mean, my videos. But it's easier to just put in the title This Can't Be Love. And then Patricia going, and mm-hmm. you'll see it pop up. It was, it was, it was. Um, um, even though it took a long time to do, it was enjoyable to work with the cast and the artists. You know, because we had a couple of different artists um, that actually performed in the movie, um, and so yeah. it was, it was, it was enjoyable. It was an enjoyable experience for me as far as dealing with the cast and stuff. You know. Um, in spite of everything, it, it was it was enjoyable. So definitely, you know, if you haven't seen it, you know, you better go to YouTube and watch it because I don't know how long it's going to be I'm before God says, okay, this is the next step, and 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 it's not going to be on YouTube no more. So you better take advantage and watch it while it's there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We'll do. You don't They'll know do. because, because what? Because my my Mr. Shout um, um, is entering it into one of those international. Um, film festival somewhere. Um, I forget oh, where wow. he told me. This big film, a foreign film festival. I, I guess I forget the name. But anyway, you know. So you just you just never know what God's gonna do. I just I, I just you never know. But I, I'm at oh, peace wow. that if He doesn't do anything else, I, I'm at peace to know that His will was done because I know I prayed. So I'm at peace. With yes. That. You look All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Oh, well, thank you so, so much, much for allowing me. As we go out, you know, uh-huh. I got to replay Praise and While I Wait. You know, I got to replay. I got to replay that. <laughs> okay. All right. I got to replay right. that. Yeah. Thank so you I just so much for allowing so me. To... Yes. Thank yes. You. Yes. And make sure you um, let was... me know your thoughts about the movie when you watch it too. I sure will. I definitely will do that. Mm-hmm. I thank you. Yeah. I thank you. Oh, all right. you're more than welcome. Oh, and don't forget to reach out to me so I can get you connected about, you know, the promotions and stuff for your music. Yes, ma'am. Definitely do mm-hmm. that. I thank you. Yes, oh, ma'am. ma'am. 
Thank, thank you so you. much. I want to thank everybody who stopped by to listen to um, our interview with uh, Lavoria Reese today and also who will come back later because I know that this, uh, you know, we have listeners all over the world, you know. In fact, I think every country that she visited, Italy, Switzerland, Sweden, Germany, Australia, I think all of those are listeners, on, you know, have listened to uh, On the Move Unscripted. So I hope that you go out. Is it available on uh, for sale? That's what I forgot to ask. Yes, um, they can go to any digital, um, um, iTunes, Amazon, it's on um, CD Baby. If you go to my website, you should be able to um, pop it up in there. Yes, ma'am. But it is out there. Oh, yeah. When you need that music that's on Change Your Atmosphere, when you need that atmosphere type change in music, where you need that positive energy to come around you, where you need that uplifting music, you need to go ahead and get you one of LaVoy Reese's songs, you know, praise him while I wait is my freaking favorite, but then now I'm moving forward as a favorite now, and I, I'm, I'm going to have to look at it and see what all else you got on here, so definitely go and check her out, LaVoy, <laughs> L-A-D-O-R-I-A, Reese, R-E-E-S-E, make sure you go to YouTube, Amazon, CD Baby, iTunes, wherever yes. you buy your music, mm-hmm. you go ahead and mm-hmm. pay and have her own in there because you, I'm telling you, you are not going to be yes. it. But I'm going to go back out no of here. Way. I'm going to leave today saying thank you so much. God bless everything that you do, everything for, for all thank who you. you are and for the blessings and things and prayers that you haven't seen come to pass yet. They haven't manifested yet. It's on the way. So just keep trusting. I am too. It's on the way. You gotta believe it's on the way. Manifestation is on the way. The shift has happened. The shift has occurred. Yes. The next level Thank is you. already I here. I was mm. that. Have you. a good day. Much Thank love you. to you. Thanks so much. Praying for your ministry even the more. God bless you. Amen. Same to you. Wanna move on scripted job. Though he slay me, yet will I change him. I wait till my change come. Praise him. Joy is gonna come. Come in the morning. When it seems like there's no help inside, I'm just waiting for the day.
I got victory in Jesus. 